variety in films the new flavor of the season. Today, let's step back into the English Regency era. Could you imagine a brown-skinned Indian Duchess? Probably not. But Shonda Rhimes Bridgerton had Simone Ashley, a British actress of Tamilian descent, star as Viscountess Kate. This and many such castings have created an uproar among a section of entertainment lovers. Basically, Hollywood is cozying up, sorry, embracing the concept of inclusivity within films by reimagining classics with a modern lens. The Rings of Power, a spin-off of Lord of Rings series, has seen a diverse casting and even diverse criticism around it. Black actress Norma Domezvini's casting as Hermione Granger in the play Harry Potter and the Cursed Child had raised eyebrows until J.K. Rowling herself stepped in to support the casting. Latest to this party is Halle Bailey's casting as Ariel in Disney's new live-action reimagining of The Little Mermaid. Yes, she is the same 27-year-old singer who has earned five grand award nominations. Despite the hostility, this is actually a corrective move from the industry because we haven't forgotten Hollywood's notorious whitewashing of its diverse characters in the not-so-distant past. Let me jog your memory. Angelina Jolie's role as a mixed-race activist Marianne Pearl in A Mighty Heart, Tilda Swinton playing the Ancient One and Asian Monk in Doctor Strange, or simply Jesus played by multiple white actors like Kenneth Cole, Jeremy Sisto, or most recently even Joaquin Phoenix on the big screen. This and many more. But ever since the Black Lives Matter movement and the massive success of Black Panther, Hollywood seems to have cracked a winning formula. Casting LGBTQI+, women, and ethnically diverse characters is equal to opening up newer markets. Hence, inclusion is the way to go. On the other hand, Hollywood has been accused of pondering to woke culture. The Halle Bailey's trailer itself has received around 1.5 million dislikes on YouTube. Twitter also saw an AI-made whitewashed version of the teaser trailer where the actress's skin tone was corrected to a Caucasian appearance. Disturbing, right? But the lineup of diverse releases for 2022 is making us think this might just be the new normal now. But the lineup of diverse releases for 2022 is making us think this might just be the new normal now. Also, beyond just the real life, the International Space Station welcomed its first Native American woman, Nicole Mann, on board. Inclusivity everywhere. What do you think? And like most trends go, Will Hindi cinema also follow suit? Does Vijay Devarakonda's Liger or Rashmika Madana's Goodbye assert a changing trend of South Indian cinema becoming as mainstream as Bollywood? Or is it just a flash in the pan? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Basically, no more, be more.